Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome to the first episode of the Unfold series. In today's video I am going to be teaching you guys how to create the NCS circle effect. Uh, this effect right here I am going to be teaching you how NCS make their videos. Now I'm not going to be uh, releasing their official or their like their settings or so, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make well a similar effect with the same plugins. So yeah. But before starting the video, I'll put the requirements on screen right now. Um, so all you need is Trap Code Form, Trap Code Shine, and Trap Code Star Glow, which are all third-party uh, plugins by Red Giant, I believe. And uh, the only necessary plugin is actually Trap Code Form. But let's let's jump straight into the tutorial. Sorry. So um, I'm in Adobe After Effects uh, CC 2014. But it should work on any version um, as long as you have the plugins. Uh, so first off, I'm going I'm going to be creating a new composition. I'm going to call this tutorial take six. I believe it is take six. Yeah, it's my sixth try here. So yeah, uh, right click to create a new solid, which is uh, the first thing we're going to be doing here. So we'll call this particle particles. And um, you won't see the white background, of course, if you're familiar with After Effects. And then you want to apply the effect on it. So what you are going to want to do is search here for trap code. Well, no, sorry, you're supposed to search for form. And uh, it's going to show up under the uh, trap code. Uh, the trap code uh, tab. And you just drag it over to the particles tab. Now in here, we're going to be changing a couple of values and settings uh, to make it look like a circle. So first off, you want to go into the base form tab right here. Um, you want to change these values. The size X, you want to have it on a value of 590, and the size Y, you want to have it. Uh, you want to have it on a value of 4, uh, 430, 4, 430, 430, and uh, on the size Z, you want to have it on zero. Uh, the particles in X, uh, this is supposed to be on 400, and the same for particle in Y. Or repeat this once if you're in Adobe After Effects right now. The size X 590, the size Y 430, size Z 0, particles in X 400, particles in Y 400, and particles in Z 1. Since you can't set it to 0. Uh, now we're done in the base form tab. You can close it and you can now go into the particles tab. In the particles tab, all we're going to be changing in here is the color. Uh, you can pick a color you like. This is going to be the color of the uh, actual uh, spectrum, the sphere. So I'm going to be picking a, a yellow, since the yellow is the uh, original house color for uh, Atencias, basically. Now next tab you want to go to is the uh, Audio React tab. Now uh, you need to add a audio layer for this plugin to work, of course, since it's an Audio React uh, plugin. So I'm going to drag in the official soundtrack for uh, the Unfold series and then I just drag it into my composition and once I've done that I can now go into the audio layer or audio react and then I'm going to select audio layer I'm going to select my audio layer. So selecting my audio layer as the audio layer in trap code form. Yeah. So now all you want to do is um, open reactor 1 and 2 we're going to be changing the settings here. So reactor 1 is set it to map to fractal and set the reactor 2 to map to uh, sphere 1 size. Sphere 1 size. Now once you've done that um, the next settings you are going to be changing are uh, the, uh, the width and the strength. The width of the fractal set it to 20 and the width of uh, the reactor 2, the sphere 1 size, set it to 65. And the strength of the reactor 2 to a value of 20. Now we're not noticing any difference on the actual uh, particles at the moment, but they will show up 
on the uh, in the next step and in the next step after the next step. So it's the next step inceptionism whatever right here. Anyway, let's move on. So in the fractal field in the fractal field right in the fractal field you are going to be changing the displacement value to a value of 50. So 50 right there. Um, now we're getting some difference or some displacement on the uh, base form. Uh, now you want to change the uh, the flow in uh, y to a value of minus or negative uh, 167. And then you want to change the flow evolution to 95. So I'll repeat it for you guys who are in After Effects. Displacement set to 50, flow y negative 167, and flow evolution set to 95. That's all you have to do for the fractal field. You can now close the tab down and go into the spherical field tab. In the spherical field tab, we're only going to be using the sphere 1. And in here, you want to change the strength to 100. And once you've done that, you then want to change the radius to about 420. Um, basically what this does is um, will changes the radius of the uh, strength of this vertical field and basically if you have different values on the base form you basically want this just to be a little bit above the um, uh, the base form so about I'm gonna set it to 420 or near plus minus 100 of the base form of uh, this value. So once you've done that, um, you can now uh, change or sorry, uh, close this tab, and we have our audio spectrum. That's about it. Really simple. Now please bear in mind there is a couple of things we can do to make this look better. Of course, I'm going to be adding my own effects. My own effects will a couple of effects that I like using, um, which will increase your production value quite a lot actually. Um, one of them being uh, activating or turning on a motion blur now do bear in mind it is going to make it look more smooth and you know it's gonna make it look more smooth that's basically the only term which is rather correct um, and uh, though bear in mind this effect is going to uh, affect your rendering times quite heavily um, but so for the uh, tutorials for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna turn it off and turn it on when I'm showing you guys the final results um, another thing we can do if you want to change the uh, size and the uh, the uh, placement of the sphere do not move the composition like this then you're removing the entire composition um, or the entire composition no, you're removing the entire uh, solid which is not what you want um, what you want to do instead for, like uh, known or people or users familiar with After Effects will know that this is not how you do it. This is not how you do it, guys. The best way to do it is if you can change size and move things within the par uh, third party plugin or the plugin itself, do it in the plugin. So in the world transform, we can change the size. Um, I'm gonna set it to about 80. And then I'm also going to be changing the X offset to about a value of 150 and it should move 150. Maybe it was 550. Now it was 450. Now it was 350. Now it was 400. Something like that. Well, subjective, guys. Um, like, you guys can play around with these values how much you want, really. It's, um, it's subjective. It's what you like. It's what you like. So what you like was what you like. What I mean with that is, basically, you might not like the settings I have. You might find your own settings. So, you know, once you've rendered out your video, Hit me a message on Facebook or uh, here on YouTube and I'll have a look. Um, uh, yeah. So now we've moved the uh, audio spectrum. This is how to do the entire audio spectrum. Now you could let your creativity go uh, on and just create a video here, but I am going to continue showing you guys how I make my videos um, for clients. And uh, you know, this is how I learned it. And since I'm also going to be showing uh, NCS style of the video, um, I'm going to be adding a still background. Um, of course, it's just a picture, just like NCS has it, and I'm going to be adding in the NCS, um, the NCS logo. So I'm going to scale it down to about 80, and I'm going to move its X position um, 
they usually have it about here, I think. Something like this. This is about what the NCS videos look like. Uh, now, what you can do to make this look a lot better, we're going to be changing the looks of the Spectrum first, then the NCS logo, and then I'll do my magic trick in the end. And so, um, uh, what you want to do is look up the effect called Glow, and you want to drag it onto the particle layer, and it's going to start glowing a little bit here. I do believe NCS, the NCS template has glow, I cannot remember for sure, um, but this is the glow effect, just don't touch it. The settings are actually quite fine. Now next up is the Chine. So Trapco Chine is a plugin effect which I use in almost every project. Um, it's a really good project. It does not really high quality shine and it can be used like in almost every shot, every effect, anything really. Um, so you know you want to try to center it in the middle of the uh, sphere and if you cannot see through the effect or if it simply removes anything um, change the transference, transfer mode to normal or add. Add will make it about... It's gonna put itself on top of it, so let's say if the light value is 50 and the light value of the chine is 50, the light value is gonna be 100. Um, if you have it on normal, it's not going to blend together in the same way. Um, so in colorize, you then want to set it to one color and just choose the color uh, which is quite sim but the similar color, the same color as the uh, uh, spectrum, and I'm gonna change the relief to about one, actually a little bit less, something about that. I'm gonna boost the light. What about three, maybe? That looks about that looks about it. Um, so I'm gonna close down the shine tab, and I'm then going to add the star glow. The star glow it kind of gives some edges to your. Uh, spherical effect as you can see we got some edges here um, it's sort of like optical flares but they're not optical flares but it gives your sphere a little bit of edgy effects and I like it you don't have to use it but I use it so first off go into the color map a and color map B and set it to one color or set it to one color um, you can then change this color I usually have one color as the same color and then the other color a more of a darker color of the uh, default color so you get a little bit of variation you can see we have a little redder reddish color right here to just bring a little bit of variation to the uh, to the to the scene um, now we have the spectrum done what i can do now just to make it look better um, is activating the motion blur There we go, the motion blur is on. Um, let's find a nice still somewhere here. Oh, well, this is gonna take ages. This looks good. So, next up we're going to be adding um, shadows onto the logo. Now this can be your own logo you're having right here. It could be uh, just a picture, it could be anything. Now this has transparency and things with transparency usually works very well with um, the layer style drop shadow. Um, as you can see we've added a little bit of shadow. Um, you know it raises the production value a little bit and it adds depth to your scene. Um, so if we can go here, we can go in here, raise this to about 80 and change the distance to the doubled. So 10. Something like that. And we'll just, you know, we're having a little bit of depth to the scene. And uh, now what you can do, basically this is an NCS video, we're done. This is how NCS makes their videos, a little bit of drop shadow, you know, they have their, uh, their spectrum and their background. Now to make this look good, in my opinion, you know, my opinion, you could add some motion to the background, to the background plate, meaning the still background here. Uh, to the photo, so increase the scale to 105. If you don't know how to increase the scale, you could just press here, go to transform, and go to scale. Quicker way, uh, hit the uh, layer, hit S on your keyboard, voila. Uh, voila, there you have it, voila, voila, voila. Kind of funny word. Anyway, so uh, increase it to 105, and then hit P on your keyboard to get the position keyframing, and then hold Alt and press the keyframe button and you're then gonna get up the expression window. In here you wanna type in a wiggle, through emphasis, 0 0.4, comma, 50, and through emphasis, close it. 
and uh, then you just press outside and there we go you've added some wiggling to your uh, to your scene um, actually I've been a bad boy here let me just check here one second guys Yeah, sorry, set the scale to 110. To be 100% sure that you don't get any black lines, uh, black bars. Um, so once you've done that, um, if I deactivate the particles, you will see how the background is moving. You know, it's a, it has a rather smooth, smooth? That was new, smooth motion. And it increases your production value quite a lot. And I think it looks really good with these templates. And you know, just moving a little bit like that and uh, yeah and then you just turn that back on and this is how you create your own NCS video by yourself um, I really hope you guys learned something from this video um, it what it what this is or uh, this is well this is my first uh, video tutorial for the unfold series so hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something um, any feedback on my commentary, on my video quality, anything is highly appreciated since I want to give you guys the best content I can possibly give you. And so any feedback is heavily appreciated, guys. And also, a, a little bit of a disclaimer, uh, this video is not intended to show any secrets about how NCS makes their videos. This is for educational purposes only. I want to enlighten people on how to create visual effects. I want to... Uh, inspire people to uh, uh, well I want to inspire people to do visual effects and this is you know a beginning of it on motion graphic design so hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, stay keep watching until after the outro so you get to the main menu well if you didn't get that basically watch the entire video because there's a message in the end Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace out. Hey guys, and once again, thank you for watching the first episode of the Unfold series. By pressing on the screen right now, you can get back to the main menu where you guys can select other videos and tutorials. Hey guys, and once again, thank you for watching the first episode of the Unfold series. By pressing on the screen right now, you can get back to the main menu where you guys can select other videos and tutorials.